Hello everybody, Hectix here, and welcome to Kaido Racer 2, or Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2 if you're in North America. Now, I'm having to redo this series due to the fact that I do not exactly have the save file anymore because I upgraded my PC. So yeah, I'm going to have to do this all over again. Thankfully, I was not very far, so didn't exactly lose much. Now, I will leave the uh, Eurobeat mixes like I did before down in the description as well, so feel free to listen to that. Or you can put your own music on, whatever you prefer. But anyway, let us enjoy the cutscene, and then we get to pick our car. And of course, we are that legendary racer. So we're going to buy our car. I will explain all of this information that was on screen in a moment. Now, I do have a car in mind. I do plan on buying the Mazda 3, because I do remember this being fairly good in the previous Kaido. So why not? Not a bad starter car, so I do not want to input a license plate number. Now, in terms of the uh, different or daytime and nighttime, daytime, it's all the legal stuff. There's a category level now. The ticket system is gone, so I can do them as many times as I want. So I will only be showing that each race once, as well as the medals when we get around to that. That is part of the 100% completion I do plan on doing. Nighttime, it's obviously the illegal side, which we will get to in a bit. Now, first things first, I'm going to take care of the tie-up sponsors. Now, in terms of the sponsors, this is going to be interesting. So I am going to need at least a little bit of help with this, because there are more than 16 sponsors in this game. And that does not include the um, ones you can randomly find in the PA. So, yeah, I don't know which ones are the most profitable, so when it gets to a certain point, I'm going to be trying to figure out which ones to get rid of and which ones to keep. So, yeah, it would be nice to if somebody could, you know, let me know which ones I should get rid of, which ones I should keep. Well, I know Takeoff and Doors at some point, they're both going to be going, let's be honest. But uh, much later on, 
Yeah, no idea which ones are the appropriate ones to keep. Because I would like to show at least all the sponsored events on camera if I can. So, yeah. Well, not including the ones that I find in the PA because I'm not going to go out of my way to find them. Because they can be uh, quite irritating to find. And I don't believe it's for 100% completion either. It probably is, but... I don't have the time and patience for that, to be honest. I don't think uh, people want to watch a 40-plus series on this game where most of it's just me trying to find particular sponsors or wanderers when we get around to that. So that's takeoff added. Time to do yours. And I forgot to uh, change my viewpoint. I'm going to have to go into the options at some point and change that. Um, but yeah, the 100% completion is the same as how the previous series went. Get all the medals and defeat the final boss. I'm not going to get all the wanders unless I just happen to do so. So I'm not going to go out of my way for that. Uh, same with the sponsors, I'm not going to go out of my way to get every single one that randomly shows up in the PA. That's just way too tedious and time consuming, so yeah. It's just going to be the medals and the final boss. Now this is a better run than I had last time because I did try to record this episode or a little bit earlier and well, it didn't exactly go too well. Uh, I haven't recorded in a while with me sitting here talking, so yeah, it really showed. So yeah, I kind of wanted to not put that one up. It wasn't very good, so yeah. Not that my commentary is very good to begin with, but... Ah, well. Hopefully we can beat him before the goal, because I did last time, surprisingly. Don't know how I did. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time, though. Not very good with front wheel drive. So, there we go, cross the line. And that's both sponsors finished for right now. We will be getting more at some point in the near future. I do want to quickly change my, uh, where is it? Game config. No. Sorry. View. Okay, all good. Uh, in terms of the mail system, unless it's important, I will not be showing that. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to take care of some of the parts first. And then we'll move on to some of the daytime events. As well as I do need to put the uh, two sponsor stickers on the car. Uh, exhaust first. High level two, obviously, more power. Um, now nah, we'll go with this one. Rom, just for the little performance boost. That is after I tweak it. Uh, suspension, so I can change the suspension settings. Not level 1, no thank you. Level 2. Don't believe I can buy the clutch right now, if I remember correctly. I got tires. Not wet tires. Don't need those just yet. <laughs> Racing level 2. Front and rear, obviously. Rims, I'm not going to worry about. Don't really care about that right now. Do want to get a carbon hood to lower the weight just a tight. Or just a touch. There we go, I can't speak. Um... Clutch, I don't think I can buy, right? Yeah. But I do believe I can buy the LSD. Yes. I'm going to buy that. It's a front-wheel drive car. I'm going to need it. Very much so. So we'll put the stickers on. Now we will be getting a lot more money later on, but for now this is 
the little bonus we have. You can rack up millions just from that per race. You make more money from that than you do from the actual race itself. Uh, settings. Rom, I don't know how much extra horsepower I'm going to get by doing this, but the more the merrier, obviously. Now we have to do the, well, what I would call basic setup for myself, so obviously no initial torque. LSD to 3, I might have to change that at some point. Suspension, obviously stiff, stiff. Everything is stiff. Lower it as much as I can. Alignment. Three, one. No camber at the front. Steering angle a little bit extra wide. No traction control. Four ABS and there we go. So, that's all set up. Don't have to worry about that now. We're pulling 185 right now. I would like to get a little bit more, so we will take care of some of the daytime events. I will show uh, Jim Connor. And again, why did we need the heavy death metal for the uh, cutscene for the course introduction? I know I've mentioned that before, but anyway, as I was saying, I will show Jim Kana at least once. This is obviously where I'm going to be making all my money. So, quickly do the highest level one here. And then we'll take care of the... Uh, three events that each course has. We're going to have to do uh, Hiroshima as well. Now, the daytime events I will only be showing once. I'm not going to be going out of my way to sit here and grind and grind and show it on camera. It would be very, very boring. But I will just show it at least once so that way, well, you get to see what it is. And while you're, I'm going to be grinding this particular layout quite a lot, so yeah. You get to see what I'm going to be spending quite a lot of my time doing off camera, so yeah. Damn, it's much better than uh, the last run I tried doing. I'm like two seconds faster. So there we go. A little bit of extra money, which is going to be great because I still need more upgrades. Now, these are the medals, obviously. Now, I don't think I can get away with doing this one just yet. I could probably... Yeah, actually, I could probably get the points, but I don't think I can beat the time. So I do want to uh, upgrade the car just a little bit more before I get too invested into that. And the yellow golden trophy there is the Master Events. I do believe each track has one or two. And they're random, I think, when they show up. I can't remember. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, no more ticket system. It's a CA level. So this determines if I can do a particular event. That's not including if I have the right car, car model, that sort of thing. So we'll take care of this one first. Take care of the three events here. Then we'll do the three in Hiroshima. And then we will move on to nighttime. Well, after I upgrade some parts on this car again, and then we'll move on to nighttime. <laughs> but uh, trying to drift a front-wheel drive car with racing tires on, this is not going to be too elegant, let's just say. This, I don't think, would really work in reality, but yeah. Oh god. Dang it. 
I was hoping to get a uh, no tap run, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Come on. Shoot. I should still get 4,500 even with those two taps. I should be fine. Now that I've said that, here's where I've probably jinxed it. Okay, now as long as I don't mess this section up here, good. There we go. Didn't fail on the first event. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Very embarrassing. But again, I should not be using racing tires to drift, but... Yeah, for an actual drift car setup, you actually want to use the racing tires, believe it or not. You want to have higher grip at the front, less grip in the back, but it kind of offsets, it kind of works. After all, I did do the uh, time or the drift one with uh, the A86. That's how it was set up with the tires. The uh, I had racing tires in the front and back, but less or lower level rear racing tires than the front. But even then, I'm still not good at drifting. It's still a pain in the ass. <laughs> Can't, like, I had to do so many takes of doing that whole mountain just to get a run that was good. It was ridiculous. It took way too long. Way too long. It's better to do the uh, time attack runs because I can get those done in a couple of minutes, but drift ones to actually get something, you know, cohesive and that's not me floundering around messing up every corner, well, yeah. It, it takes a long time. <laughs> and there we go, cross the line. More money in our pocket. So now we got TAC, which is the uh, time attack again, but we have an SP bar this time. But still, the worst one in the entire game has to be the drift event where if you touch a single wall on one of the drift corners, you fail. That is the worst one in the game. I can't remember if the previous two Kaido games have it. I don't remember if the second game has it, and I definitely don't remember if the first game had it. But if they do, I probably would have remembered, so they I don't think they do, but again, I could be wrong, so if this is the only one with it, I'm glad, because, Jesus, can't stand doing those, I really can't. I do remember there being a uh, sponsor for Ura Rocco, if I remember correctly, where he has you drive a uh, four-wheel drive Stagia through um, a drift event for it, and if you touch a single wall, you're done. Surprisingly, that's the one that sticks in my head the most. That and um, one sponsored event later on as well. That one's going to be a pain. It has a... Um, was it a lime green? I think it was a lime green... Or lime... I can't speak today, I'm sorry. A lime green S2000 drift event on... Ah... Um, uh, can't remember. It's not Zhao, because I don't think... No, wait, Zhao is in this game. Uh, I can't remember the name. Shiga, I think, is the first word. I can't remember the rest. But, yeah. It, that one is a pain in the butt, if anybody knows which one I'm talking about. Considering... <laughs> I don't know what it is. That road feels so narrow driving that S2000, and they expect you to drift with it. <laughs> it's not exactly a fun event to do. <laughs> That one's going to take a long time to finish. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing when it comes to that ep <laughs> when it comes to that episode and that event.
thankfully we don't have to hear that too many more times because there's not actually that many tracks so anyway we'll take care of the uh, three events here and then we'll put some parts on this car because we damn well need it so Hiroshima CA Cup basically once I do these events here I'm never coming back to them so yeah again I'm going to be focusing on Gymkhana off screen these events it's a one and done kind of thing never going to touch them again I'm not even going to try for this corner I don't have the power for it oh god <laughs> and I don't have any camber at the front and I'm still getting that uh, front end twitch that twitch I don't know how to stop that I really don't if anybody has any ideas on how I can stop that that would be great it could be because I'm using a front-wheel drive car yes but I even notice it when I have uh, rear-wheel drive cars I still get that all-wheel drive cars no different I just can't seem to get that to stop best I can do is not put any camber at the front. Part of me thinks it also could be the toe that's affecting it, but again, front wheel drive car, I need the toe, or else this thing is not going to turn. Let's be real here. I can't wait to stick a turbo in this thing. But before I do that, I do want to get those two metals first. And then I'm going to stick a turbo in this and I'll have a decent amount of power then. So I don't believe there's any more NA cups after this. I could be wrong. So I do believe the one for uh, both, or not both, but for Haruna, Akagi, and Uraraka, I do believe it's an FF cup. And an FR cup when we get around to that. But we did level up our CA level. Not that it makes much of a difference right now. That again won't make any dif significant difference until later on. Well, until the second stage of the game, really. Now, in terms of parts, I do plan on buying a clutch. I would like a little bit more power, so I may buy some sort of engine part. I don't think I definitely can't max out the engine right now. Uh, if I can afford a transmission, I wouldn't mind doing that. But if I remember correctly, the transmission can be quite pricey. So whether or not I get that upgrade, I do not know. Heck, I may just go for handling parts instead of just pure power. Because right now, I wouldn't say I'm exactly a slouch. I've got more than enough horsepower to finish both Hiroshima and uh, Hakone, so I think I might go for the transmission and clutch instead. If I can afford a weight down, that would be amazing, but I don't think I will be able to do that. A little bit too much steering input there. That was my bad. Although I can't wait to get to uh, Uraraco. Just because that is my favorite track, even though I am not very good at it. I do enjoy it mainly just because of the scenery. As dumb as that sounds in a way, but yeah, I really like the scenery. And if you've seen my, uh, I think we're, I think it's been three years, three or four years now, since I posted that uh, Auto Modelista stream here on the channel. Uh, yeah, if you've watched that, you'll know why Rocco is my favorite, considering the scenery in that version of it is fantastic. Considering that game's graphics is absolutely amazing, and it's a shame that there's not many games like that. So, yeah. In fact, I may sit down and record that game from start to finish again. But I don't know. I already did it once and I have a video of it. I don't know if I want to do it again. 
don't know. I'll think about it. That that is something to do. Now, actually, concerned I can talk about this here. Uh, I, if uh, anyone's watching, that's on my Discord. I have mentioned it already with the FF challenge for TXR three that I was thinking about doing, and well. Not to say that I can't do it, it's more of a... I don't know. I like the idea, but getting around to it, the fastest quote-unquote FF car you can buy is the FTO, which you can get at the beginning of the game. And on top of that, all the F or FF cars can only get a maximum of, I think it's 400? and 60, 470 horsepower, depending on the engine swap. So, considering you need, well, I've been told and I've read online, roughly 500 horsepower plus to really beat that game without any issue, or too much issue, yeah, it's not gonna exactly be, it's not gonna exactly be easy. It's gonna be more infuriating, probably, considering, well, when I had my new game plus profile before I lost it, I did actually try maxing out one of the cars, setting it up, that sort of thing with the uh, transmission, one, all the ratios and all that. And well, trying to beat the Red Devil on the Wongan with no traffic, not that traffic would make that much of a difference, but trying to beat him then was a massive no-go. Like, there would be no way in hell I'm going to be beating that guy. In the corners, probably, if I get lucky. But, yeah, early game, it's viable. But late game, <laughs> it would be very difficult. Now, I do know somebody posted a vid- or not a video, a comment on one of my past videos that he did a- he or she did a- actual, I think it was the, one of the MX-5s, I think it's the Yunos Roadster, if I remember correctly, he, he or she did a run with just that, from start to finish, and apparently that was a massive handful, and you know what, I'm not surprised, <laughs> so that person's got a hell of a lot more patience than I do, so props to them, they, uh, they definitely deserve it, because <laughs> I don't think I could get away with doing that, but anyway, now we're on to nighttime. Thankfully, it's not raining. Whether or not you can get rain on the first night, I do not know. But now we get to do the illegal side. So, yeah. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Shouldn't be too difficult. Now, considering looking at my clock right now, it should have at least happened once. And, uh, well, since I did this recording before, it didn't. So we'll see if it does. But considering I'm on Windows 10 now, I don't have to worry about if anybody's noticed on my previous videos that are longer than 10 to 12 minutes. There's a random weird split in the middle of it every now and then. Yeah, that was because of Windows 7. At 3.1 gig video files, it auto splits. For recording, so hopefully I don't have to worry about that being on Windows 10. So if it just keeps going, that would be fantastic. I don't have any more weird cuts in my uh, videos, and I don't have uh, to cut a little bit out. Considering depends on the game when I when uh, I can't speak <laughs> when it actually does that. It sometimes makes the next few frames bad, like it goes black and all choppy and whatnot, it doesn't look very good, so I have to cut it out. So there's maybe like half a second missing after that, usually, again, depending on the game. So I don't have to worry about that frustration anymore. So hopefully that is indeed the case, but uh, we'll see because we've already been going for 30 minutes now, and this is going to be a longer than normal episode. I have not recorded in a quite a while, so yeah, I kind of want to make up for that just a little bit. Now, since I'm on the topic, um, in terms of TXR0, 
I have actually got back to where I was. That is, if this also this video goes up prior to that, uh, or prior to the Wanderer's Guide, I am back at where I left off. I do have to do all of C1 again, because I did finish majority of it. I think except for one rival prior to uh, PC upgrade, so... Yeah, I have to do that all over again, but good news, I am back at where I left off. Mostly. So yeah, I did sit down and grind away that game. Now, I did use a different car, not that it made a blind bit of difference. But, yeah. I... That will probably be the biggest discrepancy between the actual, you know, Let's Play and the Wanderer's Guide. It's going to be the fact that uh, the car I used is different. So the Impreza is bye-bye. It's a different car now. I'm not going to spoil it. And no, it's not an R32. Because I know I'm going to get a comment saying it's going to be an R32. It actually wasn't. Close. Close to buying one, but not an R32. Something you wouldn't necessarily think of me buying, I would assume, considering how overrated it is. There's your hint. But, uh, well, not overrated. Um, overhyped. Everybody goes crazy for this car. But I prefer the older generation. There's your big hint. That, that should definitely be a giveaway. But anyway, yeah, back to where I left off. Hopefully the Wanderer's Guide, that is if that goes on after this or before this, who knows. But hopefully I'll get around to uh, posting that at some point in the near future. Now, in terms of uh, the rival I'm facing now, I do believe this is a tribute to Itsuki from uh, Initial D, considering he's driving an AE85, but uh, it would have made more sense to have him on Haruna instead of in Hakone. It would have made a lot more sense, but, oh well, it doesn't really matter. Now, another, well back to the uh, video stuff, uh, well video update stuff I should say for this part of the video, but uh, the time attack drift attack series that I had going, that will continue at some point. I just have to uh, <laughs> get around to doing that. Whether or not I use this profile I don't know, or I may do a uh, another personal save and just go for it. That will continue at some point, and completely off topic to racing, Grim Dawn. Now, this is a series that I know a lot of people here I don't believe watch, nor have an interest in it, but I enjoy the game, so I'm damn well going to upload it. But uh, the character that I have currently up on the channel, he doesn't exist anymore. I had to grind everything back, and well... I think my most highest character right now is 57, I do believe, so I've still got a long way to go. But yeah, I can't exactly use that character anymore. I did make one similar. Hopefully it's as good. This is one I theory crafted myself. So I do want to continue the dungeon challenge series when I get around to it. However, to get the characters to 100 and then, excuse me, get the characters to 100 and get all the gear can take a long time. So those are going to be, they're not going to be a regular video kind of thing. They, they'll happen every now and then, but for the amount of time it takes, they're going to be far and few between. So if you are looking forward to another video in that, you're going to be waiting wait a while, I do apologize. But then again, I don't believe many people on that are watching this channel are a fan of my Grim Dawn episodes too much. Concerned I am focused on uh, racing for the most part, but I do want to kind of branch out still a little bit, so that's my way of branching out without having to go something mainstream that I don't exactly enjoy. So, yeah, eventually I will post something for Grim Dawn. But anyway, enough of my video update ramblings. At least that saves me the time of having to not make a update video, per se. Still might, I don't know. 
But anyway, it's our river ruler is this guy for another time attack. I don't know why I was about to say silver ruler. No idea. But yeah, this shouldn't be difficult. I do like the Glanza. That was also another car that I would be very tempting to start the game with, and I do believe I could. Well, not the, gl <laughs> not the current Starlet he's using. He's using the, e I think it's the EP82. I do believe that's the right code. I could be wrong, but my favorite is the Glanza 5, the uh, EP91. That is my favorite Starlet, so... Yeah, I could buy that at the beginning of the game, that is a possibility, but typically when I do play this, I start with the Glanza, <laughs> not gonna lie, I always start with the Glanza, so I'd rather not do that again, plus the Glanza gets roughly similar horsepower to this, it's I think 40 horsepower less from standard, 30 or 40 but it's like 300, 400 kilos lighter. So yeah, plus it's turbocharged. So that's even more of a bonus. But in the case of wanting to get the metals, I kind of wanted to take an NA car first. It'll make it a bit easier. And then once those two NA metals are done, I will be upgrading this thing to turbo because let's be real, turbo all the way, 100%. Anyway, almost a 10 second lead. Now, whether or not we can... That's got to be Black Onyx, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Shouldn't be too difficult to beat this guy. Because I do believe he's not too difficult. It's um, FR Benchmark at the beginning that can be a handful. Depending on your car, but... Yeah, he can be a handful at the beginning. Now, I haven't got to uh, these cutscenes yet, so glad to know that the emulator is working well. So, yeah, that is another thing. In terms of the random stuttering that I had every now and then, that should not be the case with the new system, so I shouldn't have any real stuttering. The only stuttering that's going to happen is if um, it's something to do with the ISO itself. Like, uh, some of the intro cutscenes to the courses, as well as the first, uh, I think the very first cutscene they show, back at the beginning of this episode, and the intro to the game before you press start. I do believe those are the only exceptions. They're, it always stutters. It didn't change when I went to re-record the intro. So, yeah. That's just to do with the ISO. That's not the emulator itself. So yeah, I shouldn't have any more stuttering because the game is running absolutely flawlessly right now. Haven't changed anything from uh, when I last, or from when I, prior to the upgrade, PC upgrade, the emulator settings are exactly the same. They should be exactly the same from what I remember. I kept it mostly at default. Now I'm wondering how uh, Midnight Club 3 would run on this. Because I do know Midnight Club 3 has a uh, quite a bit of graphical glitches. So that's what's stopping me from doing that. But damn well I want to put it on the channel. But if I can fix those graphical glitches that would be fantastic. But I haven't found a way to do it. I've looked it up, but I haven't really seen anything concrete yet. That's actually worked, but that's probably also because certain settings didn't exactly agree with my system at the time. But we'll see about that. That is another series. Like, there's a lot of ser or different series I want to do. There's a lot of different games that I want to play. Just getting around to actually recording and uploading them and or recording them isn't too bad taking the time to sit down edit it and render it well that's a different story now in terms of editing and rendering now this is going to be different should point that out hopefully the quality is good 
considering I'm still using Vegas, so hopefully the settings that I have set up are the same or better. And I'm just really hoping it's not worse. I would hate to be uploading stuff in worse quality. That would not be very good. I may have to uh, have a chat with my friend to help me uh, set things up. That is, if I can get in touch with him. I haven't talked to him in a while. So yeah, he'll have to uh, give me a hand with that, hopefully. But anyway, that's both day and night time done. So there's nothing else to do. So let's head back. Now, I shouldn't have any special emails, I don't believe, and if I do, I'll show it next episode. I'm not going to worry about... Well, you know what? That is one thing I can actually show with the email system. That is the one thing I will show at the end of each episode is the information. Now, this is going to be a fun one. The information is wrong. As weird as that sounds, it's wrong. Because I've gotten to a... Well, on the personal save I had, I got to a point where it was telling me of getting like turbo kit level 4. But when I would go to actually buy it, it was actually turbo kit level 3. So yeah, what it usually says in there for parts and cars can be a little hit or miss. So that is something to bear in mind. But uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. We did do a daytime and a nighttime run. And it is longer than what I normally want to do. So with that, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.